Hi. In this video, I'll show you how to use the administrator panel in SEO panel. So the first thing you should do is to log in as administrator. Then once you log in, click on the admin panel tab on the right hand portion of your screen. Alright, so the first thing we're actually going to change is our username and password. And the reason why we're going to do this is for security purposes. Because if we keep using our same username and password, then more than likely a hacker will come along and crack our site. So in order to avoid this, just click on the My Profile tab and then enter in a new username. And then a password. Confirm that password. And then if you want, you can change your first name, your last name, and you probably want to keep your email the same. And click proceed. And click OK to confirm this. All right, so we made a new username and password. So once that's done, the next step is to create a new user. So to do this, click on the user manager. And the reason why you'll create a new user is because if you want to run some type of SEO company, such as SEO consultant or SEO marketing management, then you want to create an account for your user so that they will receive their reports. The reports will contain various information about the individual SEO progress. So to do this, just click on the new user tab. So to do this, just click on the new user tab and then enter in a username and then a password and then the client first name, the client second name, and then the client email. And then once you're done, click proceed. Okay, so as you can see, a new client has been created. Okay, so you added a new user to your site. So the next part you need to do is to add a new website. So to do that, just on our website manager, click on new website. And then select the user. So I'm selecting client one. I'm selecting the name of the site. So that's site. And then enter in the URL of the site. Enter the title. A description. And then keywords. Okay, so once you're done, click proceed. Okay, so as you can see, the new website is added. So next, Let's go to the reports manager. So I'm going to click on the tab. And then as I can see, I have my default site information here. It has the Google rank, Alexa rank, backlink information, pages indexed, and directory submission. And since this is a new site that just for testing, this information is severely lacking. So I'm going to click on the schedule reports. And I'm going to enter in my first client. And as you can see, you can generate when you want to, as you can see, you can generate when you want the report to be sent to your client. So you can select daily, and two days, weekly, or monthly. So 
I like to keep my clients up to date about information. So I'm going to select daily and I'm going to have this done via email notification. And if you want this to be sent, then you can click proceed and select OK. Next is the cron command. And as you can see, SEO panel is telling you to add the following command to your cron tab. So no worry, this is very simple. Just copy this command and lock it to your control panel management software. The details on how to do this was described in the installation video. So, so I'm logging into my control panel management software and I'm going to click on cron jobs. So I'm going to enter in an email and update it. And then I'm going to have the cron job sent once a day. And I'm going to enter in the command, copy paste it here. Let's select like add new cron job. And as you can see, the cron job has been added. Click on the SEO Tools Manager, and as you can see, here are all the tools that's available in SEO Panel. You can just read them here, and right here is the the user access. So you can change this if you want to. If you want the user to not receive something, then you can modify it in the user access. And the same is for the reports, the cron, and the status. So that's pretty self-explanatory. So here are all the directories in SEO panel. So as you can see, it's a pretty extensive list. And they categorize it very nicely for you. They put the page rank, if they have CAPTCHA, the language, the status, and also the action. So one thing that you should keep in mind in regard to directories is that you shouldn't make them the focal point for your link building campaign. Now, there's a lot of information online about whether directories work or not. But here's my motto, and I have been doing SEO for over a decade. Getting links from directories is not bad if you acquire links from upper sources. Now, if your website just have thousands of links from directories, then that's obviously going to raise a red flag in Google's search engine and algorithm, and they, they're going to penalize your site. So, if you have a new site, go ahead and submit to a couple of directories. It's not that bad, but make sure that you actually build quality content so that you also receive natural links because that's what Google really looks for. So if you want, you can delete some directories by making them inactive. And to do that, just click on it, on the status.